Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Chill on You Too. The field of engineering has contributed immensely towards changing the face of the earth. The innovations and inventions made by man in this area in the last few decades have been nothing short of incredible. Engineers are the unsung heroes of modern civilization, providing humanity with the ability to travel over water with ships, drive at high speeds across the lands in cars, and even fly amidst the clouds via airplanes. Engineering has transformed every aspect of our lives. Yet despite placing countless conveniences at our fingertips, engineers are not infallible and some even downright negligent. Whether through the careless and blind pursuit of success, a disregard of the human cost and failure, or merely abject incompetence, history is littered with the casualties of engineering. Here are the five worst engineering failures in the world's history. So strap in folks, I don't want you to fall down. Number five, Chernobyl. Few people haven't heard about the worst nuclear disaster in human history second only to Fukushima reactor failure in magnitude. On April 26 of 1986, a structurally flawed reactor at Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded. The action that leads to the destruction of the Unit 4 reactor took place during maintenance shutdown, which served a perfect opportunity to conduct a test to determine if, during the loss of power, the turbine would still provide enough energy to the system to run the cooling water pumps until the emergency power supply was online. Unfortunately, the test, which was aimed to improve the non-nuclear operational capability of the plant, was carried out without enough safety precautions. Operational errors set in motion the potential catastrophic conditions for disaster that were already in place due to the lack of proper communication and coordination between the personnel performing the test and the staff in charge of the reactor safety. These circumstances resulted in the negligent violation of minimum operational standards during the test and conditions became increasingly unstable in the reactor. This ultimately caused the destruction of several fuel assemblies. This in turn led to an increase in the pressure in the reactor and the detachment of the 1,000 ton support plate holding it. In other words, trouble with a capital T. Number 4. Titanic more than 1,500 people died when the Titanic struck an iceberg in 1912. Over the years, many have researched and investigated the details of its sinking, and it's been determined that several design issues and poor decisions led to its sinking in just over two and a half hours. As one of the biggest ocean liners of its day, the Titanic featured 16 watertight compartments. If four of those flooded, the ship would still be able to stay afloat. Six compartments flooded though, because the bulkheads were not tall enough to hold the water. Some potential causes behind the ship's sinking include designs that failed to take into account its size and mobility, the speed the ship was traveling, ignored warnings about the likelihood of icebergs, and other factors. One flaw that is undisputed though, there were not enough lifeboats for everyone on board. The 20 lifeboats were only up in space roughly for about 1,000 200 people, while more than 2,200 passengers and crew were on board the ship. Additional lifeboats had been removed from the design because the ship owners were worried that it made the ship look unsafe and seemed packed on the deck. I guess history will never let go of this accident. All right, up next, number three, the Space Shuttle Challenger. The NASA Space Shuttle Challenger disaster took place on January 28th, 1986 when the shuttle broke apart precisely 73 seconds into flight. The disaster killed seven astronauts who were on board. The entire event was shown live on television. After the investigation, it was found that the space shuttle's external fuel tank had collapsed, which released all the liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen propellants. The mixing of these chemicals led to the ignition and broke off the tank. The shuttle orbiter thus couldn't tolerate the aerodynamic forces without the tank and the boosters, resulting in breaking off of other components and sadly, the news of no survivors. Number 2. The Hyatt Regency Hotel Walkway On July 17th of 1981, a tea dance was held at the Hyatt Regency Kansas City Hotel, located in Kansas City, Missouri. Attended by approximately 1,600 people, at 7.05 p.m., the fourth floor bridge suspended over the dance floor collapsed onto the second floor walkway. The second floor bridge subsequently collapsed under the impact and itself crashed onto the lobby floor below. A total of 111 people were killed, with a further three dying in hospital from injuries sustained at the hotel, while an additional 219 suffered injuries 
of various severity. A 14-hour rescue operation sought to rescue those buried beneath 60 tons of rubble. Hampered by the activation of sprinklers which flooded the lobby, successfully recovering 29 people alive. The incident was caused by an inexcusable oversight by the structural engineers behind the hotel. During construction, a design change doubled the load being held by the connection between the fourth floor walkway support beams and rods. As a result, the bridge was barely capable of supporting its own weight. With a guest added, a collapse was inevitable. Investigators revealed that the engineers responded to prove the changes over the phone without reviewing any plans or performing any basic calculations. Despite this, they were ultimately acquitted at trial of gross negligence, but were stripped of their licenses and barred from their possession. Ha! Take that! Number 1. The Tacoma Bridge the Tacoma Narrows Bridge was an iconic, long-span bridge built in the state of Washington in the U.S. in 1930s. It was open to traffic in July of 1940. Leon Misioff planned the building design to be far more flexible than the acceptable standard ratios. On November 7, 1940, strong winds of 40 miles per hour caused the mile-long bridge to sway like a pendulum. The bridge towers were made of strong structural carbon steel yet they proved no match for the violent movements which eventually caused the bridge to collapse. Fortunately, there were no fatalities except for a poor little dog. The estimated loss for the mishap was $6.4 million. The disaster is now presented in popular physics textbooks as an illustration of elementary forced resonance. The high velocity winds caused equaling the bridge natural frequency. Furthermore, the bridge was vulnerable to wind-generated vibrations and the investigation proved that the collapse was inevitable. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope this video did not ruin your day. Thanks for watching Engineering Failures. But before you go, subscribe, like, and share the video. And don't forget, hit that bell icon to check out more interesting videos made just for you.